try to make you stay, but I guess my love wasn't enough. Was it me or was it you? Love, 'cause I'm dying to know. Why do you wanna end? Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you wanna end? Was it real? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So today's video is jam packed full of cleaning motivation. It is going to be a two day whole house clean with me and I am so excited for this. I have been feeling so unmotivated and so overwhelmed with things that I've just been needing to do and I've just been putting it off. So I broke this up into two days so it was a lot less overwhelming and it really helped. So I hope you guys enjoy this and it does give you some extreme cleaning motivation to get some things done around your own home and it gets you up and cleaning right alongside with me. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and get some things done. Alright, so as you can see, I am starting out in our bedroom and it was not in terrible shape. I mean, it has definitely seen worse days. And it was mostly clothes that needed to be put away. I had done a ton of laundry like two days before this. So I had some clothes that were dry, drying, hanging in the closet that needed to actually go inside the closet. I also had a ton of my clothes sitting on the dresser that were folded and just needed to be put away. But then I also had more clothes sitting on my chair at my desk that just needed to be put on hangers and put away in the closet. So it was just clothes that needed to be... So it was really just mostly clothes that needed to be put away and a few things that were out of place. But clothes just seem to like to accumulate sometimes. I don't know if it's just me, but there are some times where I literally can just do laundry and I hate putting them away. So if you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by and watching this. I hope you are enjoying it and you were just up and cleaning with me. But I thought I would just kind of introduce myself a little bit for anyone who is new. My name is Lauren, of course, but I'm also a mom to two boys. Colton just turned four and Logan is now 19 months. Here on my channel though, you will find a ton of cleaning motivation some organizing, de decluttering, a little bit of decorating. So if you enjoy content like that, I know you will enjoy this channel. So be sure to subscribe below before you leave here. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So I feel like I have mentioned this numerous times and it's every time I am actually in here cleaning. We are in the process of 
redoing or making over our bedroom and it has been such a slow process especially with all of the stores being closed I'm like one of those shoppers that likes to go into a store and look at what I'm buying I love shopping online and I have been doing a lot of that lately but for home decor I just love looking at it so I have really been struggling deciding how we are going to get this room decorated so yeah that's kind of why you see two mirrors sitting there it is just something that we are working on and it is a very very slow process so hang in there you guys I will definitely have a master bedroom makeover coming at you hopefully soon Hopefully we will be able to go into some stores and I can finally decide how I want this bedroom. The last thing I'm doing in our bedroom is just running the vacuum and actually I just did a cleaning video where I featured cleaning out my vacuum and I was shocked you guys. It was so dirty and there was so much dust and just buildup inside the vacuum. It seriously needed to be done. I have never really taken it apart and done that before. I will sometimes cut the hair out of the actual I don't know, spinning piece. I have no idea what it's actually called, but I will do that sometimes when it gets backed up, but now my vacuum runs so much better. I love it. But moving into Colton's room, I'm just gonna come in here and tidy things up. His room wasn't really in terrible shape. It just had some things out of place and that was pretty much it. Same for Logan's room. I've said this before, but they don't spend a ton of time in here. The only time we are in here really is at nighttime when we are reading our nighttime books and things like that and just kind of winding down for the night. But other than that, we don't really spend time in here playing. There are not that many toys in his closet. The majority of the toys are in Colton's room at the moment. I will have to kind of switch things around once Logan moves out of the crib, I think, but hopefully that is not anytime soon. <laughs> What age did your kids move out of the crib? Um, Colton was about two and a half when he moved out of the crib only because he started crawling out of, out of it and we couldn't have that. So it was a very quick transition and he did really well and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Um, hopefully Logan goes just as easy moving into a, a, you know, an actual bed. But I think once Logan does transition into a bed, I want to upgrade Colton's room too. Really, I'm really excited about it, but I'm definitely not in a hurry. So yeah, let me know down below what age your kids moved out of the crib. All right, next up is my bathroom. It definitely needed some extra love. The counter was a huge mess, but I'm not planning on doing any kind of deep clean in here today. I actually am planning on doing a bathroom deep clean here on my channel really soon. All of my bathrooms need some deep cleaning, so I figured I would bring you guys along with me and 
give you some major bathroom motivation. So today I'm just doing some light cleaning, tidying up, and wiping down the counters or the sinks. And um, I also needed to water this plant because I have yet to water it and it's been like two weeks. I know these things are super resilient, so I'm really hoping I don't kill it. Really quick, if there are any videos that you guys would like to see from me, let me know down below. I am always, always looking for some new suggestions, especially from you guys who enjoy watching my videos. So if there is something that you're hoping to see on here or if there's something that you absolutely want to see, let me know down below. I absolutely would love to hear them from you guys. So I'm also going to be washing all of my bath mats today. I don't actually throw them in the dryer so you guys won't see me do any of that. I actually like to hang them outside to dry. But I am also using this little duster to go around the baseboards. You guys will actually see later on in this video how I am going to be doing my baseboards from now on. So stay tuned for that. Two stars in the darkest night, a crystallized fascinate her movements. She feels your heartbeat and animal fear. Her beauty is unreal. Just be the out of here. And then to finish off in my bathroom, I am going to be coming over here to clean and wipe down the toilet. I don't always like to show cleaning the toilet, but it's just kind of one of those things that everyone does it. And this is just a little extra motivation for all your bathroom cleaning needs. All right, so before I was able to wash some of our bath mats, I had to actually transfer the clothes. And thankfully, it was just a load of towels, so it was super easy. Um, I feel like I am always washing towels when I am recording videos, but I probably will wash all of our towels probably at least twice a week. Um, I do want to get some more towels to add to our collection, but I haven't decided what colors. So now I'm just going to go ahead and throw a couple of the bath mats into the washer. Like I said, I don't like to dry them. I will just hang them out to dry. Okay, so this was the following day. I am just focusing on downstairs today because I did majority of the upstairs the day before this and the only room I did not get to was the boys bathroom but I honestly was not that concerned about it. I have that bathroom picked up mostly every day because we are in there every night doing bath. But right now I'm just focusing on the kitchen and getting all of the counters and the table cleared off so I can wipe them down.
So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It definitely lets me know to keep making these. But also, if you are not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have so many videos similar to this one and I have so many planned. So you're not going to want to miss anything new. And I know you would absolutely love what my channel has to offer. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave here. I also wanted to get my diffuser started. I wanted to diffuse something that was one of my favorite blends and that's actually orange and lavender. I absolutely love this blend. Orange is one of my favorite oils to diffuse basically with anything as well as lavender. So this is definitely my go-to when I'm not sure what I want to diffuse. So if you guys have not tried it, definitely try diffusing this blend. It is so good. But next, I am going to move on to the dishes at the sink. There were not that many, thankfully, but there were just a few dishes that needed to be dried and put away, and then the few dishes that needed to be rinsed and loaded in the dishwasher. If I'm honest, I'll just make you cry. And I don't want to fight with you. Okay, so next I am going to be using this barkeeper's friend to clean my sink and you guys, I have been wanting to try this for so long. I have seen so many people use it. My mother-in-law uses it to clean her sink and I love this stuff. I think next I want to try the actual liquid form versus the powder to see if there's a difference, but this stuff is amazing in itself. We've already used it to clean a like plastic folding table. There was some rust spots on it and it came super clean. So definitely try this stuff if you're looking for something new to try.
I just can't let you go. Okay, so I know I share a lot of the blends that I like to diffuse in my diffuser with my essential oils, but I wanted to share this little trick for you guys that I kind of just tested out. And I had heard about it before, but I just hadn't, I hadn't been able to use it yet. But that is just adding a few drops of purification to your vase of flowers. And you guys, my flowers to this day still look brand new. And these are flowers from Mother's Day. And so yeah, from now on, I am definitely adding some purification drops to my flowers because I hate having to throw them out after like four days at most. They get gross, it just, the water gets yucky, and I have only had to change my water once. And I, even then, it didn't look like I needed to change it. So yeah, anyways, if you guys like to have fresh flowers, definitely pick up some purification and add that to your water because your flowers will last so much longer. And you may have some history, but we don't have to repeat it. You guys will probably see the plant sitting on the table right now that is not going to stay there. I am actually just waiting to find a nice pretty pot to put it in. It's a calla lily so it is an indoor plant I believe. But my intention is to put that up in our bathroom. It is so pretty. It is the prettiest purple flower. I am obsessed with it. So my intention is to put it up in our bathroom but I have not found a pot yet and I just haven't been able to go out looking. I'm planning on getting it at Target, but if you guys know of any other places right now that you can find pretty pots, let me know down below. Okay, so I'm moving into the family room. There were just some toys and things that needed to be put away. The boys have had a blast in here lately, but I recently decluttered a lot of all of their toys out of this family room, which is a huge thing because there was just a ton of toys down here. But I decluttered it and I actually moved all of their toys with the exception of that little toy block thing. But I moved all of their toys into the downstairs closet and it seriously helps so much keeping their toys reined in and just picked up. And I, I think that is one of the best things that I have yet to do for organizing their toys. And I can also kind of cycle through some of them, pull certain toys out, keep it out for a couple of days, and then put it away in the closet and pull something else out. So it has been so good for them. They seem to keep themselves entertained a lot more, but yeah, I love it anyways. If you guys are looking for some more organizing motivation, I will have that video linked down below for you. But now I'm just gonna work on folding this load of laundry. The other laundry basket that I had moved out of here were mostly all of the boys' to uh, clothes. So I just went ahead and moved that upstairs. They are napping at this point, so I couldn't exactly put them away.
The last thing I wanted to do in here was to just run the vacuum really quick. I love running the vacuum. I absolutely love having freshly vacuumed floors. I will probably run the vacuum in here every couple of days, if not more, because even though they are not really supposed to snack in here, some days they just do when I need to get some things done. I will pop on some TV for them or they will just come in here and have a snack. I probably should get better at them eating their snack at the kitchen table or outside, but it is what it is right now. But yeah, I try and keep this room vacuumed just so the crumbs don't get tracked into the carpet even more. So I try to and come in here and vacuum every couple of days, if not more. Okay, so making my way down to the hallway, I decided to finally take down these alphabet letters that I have taped up on the walls. It is just a little scavenger hunt game that we play sometimes and we also work on practicing like sight words, like small little words. And um, we haven't played it in a while now, so I decided to take it down and when he's ready to play again, we'll just remake them and tape them back up. Super easy and it's so fun for him. but. I am also using my vacuum attachment that comes with this to do my baseboards and you guys, I don't know what I was doing before, like I used my little duster to do them or something else, but this is how I'm going to be doing my baseboards from now on because this made it so much easier, so much easier. So yeah, I'm going to be using this from now on. Also on my to-do list is to mop the floors, so I'm just using really hot water and I mix it in with a cap full of thieves, multi-service cleaner, and a few drops of my lemon essential oils, and I love this combo. It smells so good. They both smell really good by themselves, but putting them together just is the perfect combination. I have been needing to mop my floors for so long now, I just haven't been able to do it. There were a few spots in the kitchen that were just so bad. There was one spot that was just a raisin that got squished and left a sticky residue. And yeah, it was just, it was definitely time to get this done. So I just wanted to check in with you guys really quick if you were even watching this at this point and if you are, first of all, thank you so much for watching it up till now. But I really hope you guys are up cleaning right alongside with me and getting things done. But if you're not, that is totally okay. Go ahead and save this motivation for when you are actually getting things done at home.
And I'm going to be mopping in here, but I needed to come in here and wipe things down first. I'm not doing a huge deep cleaning in here. Like I mentioned earlier, I have plans on doing a huge bathroom deep clean. So that's why I just didn't do a huge deep cleaning in any of my bathrooms. And I did not make it into the boys' bathroom, but like I said, I was not super concerned about it. I do clean that bathroom pretty often just because the boys are in there and they take baths in there every night. So yeah, it just was not on my top priority list to get done. But I always save the bathrooms last to mop just so I can mop everything else and then just do the bathrooms by themselves. And then I can just pop the head off of the mop and throw it in the washer. But first I wanted to finish up washing the bathroom mat. I had done all the other ones the day before this and I just needed to do this one and they were all hanging out to dry. But finally I'm just going to go ahead and fold this load of towels and get them put away. Last but not least, I am going to go ahead and water this plant here. Like the other one, it had not been watered since we got it and it's been way too long. I'm also going to go ahead and put these towels away, but that's going to do it for today's two day whole house clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some extreme cleaning motivation, but don't forget to subscribe before you leave here and we will see you in our next video. Bye.